Hi, I'm Peggy Fair, and welcome to a special episode of the Understand Photography Show. My guest is Joe Fitzpatrick, which of course you guys already know Joe. I always talk about him, and he is the producer of this show. We are going to talk about the new Canon 6D Mark II. What's so big about the Mark II? Well, a lot of people have been waiting for it. The original 6D is almost five years old now, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, it'll be five years old, I believe, in November. I love my 6D. I love my 6D, too. So this is full frame like the 6D was. A newer, faster processor. It's, they're up to Digic 7 now. This is the first camera to feature the Digic 7 processor. All right, say that slower. Digic. Digic? D-I-G-I-C. And what does that mean? 7. That's the name. That's their trade name for their camera processor that handles all the functions in the camera. Okay, so this is the first cam Canon camera, camera that has it. That has the 7. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the last thing we introduced, the uh, 5D Mark IV, that has a Digic 6. I see. So, so this is a faster? Well, the, the process is faster. It can handle more things. It can do more operations. So they can put more features and things like that in. All right. So what are some of the new features? Well, the big thing is they kicked it up. Uh, the old 6D was 20 megapixels. This one now is a little bit over 26 megapixels. Okay. So that's a a 20%, a 25% increase in megapixels. So that's that's significant. Okay. At the same time, they kicked the ISO up. Uh, the original 6D ran 100 to uh, 25,600. The new one goes from 100 to 40,000 natively. We're not wow. talking those bogus uh, high and high high things that they put that yeah. are horrible. This is 100 to 40,000 normal. Wow. So that's, that's an awesome range it has, yeah. Now, so, but you, you can't shoot at 40,000 ISO, can you? I mean, wouldn't it just be total noise? Well, well we don't know. The camera hasn't we, come out. We, we don't know, <laughs> but typically your, your, your two highest are usually, uh, you know, two. down. But it, it means that... Uh, other, you can other, go higher. It means that of the acceptable ranges, you can probably now kick it up a stop from where you were with the 60. So if you were happy at 6,400 ISO, you'll be happy at 12,800 exactly. ISO now. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And the 60s always been known, especially in, in uh, circles that do night photography for Milky Way photography and that. It's especially good for that kind of photography at high ISO. Yeah. So. Well, and also for wedding photographers. Yeah. I mean, you're photographing in dark banquet rooms. You need high ISO. High ISO. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. what else? Well, the other big thing is this has Canon's patented dual pixel uh, autofocus technology. All right, when you're dual in, pixel. Dual pixel. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Most, when you're in live view or you're shooting video, you're using the sensor on the back of the camera. So, okay. so the autofocus system that the camera would normally use is behind the mirror, so you can't use that anymore. Oh, okay. So you have to use something else. Most cameras that do that use what they call contrast detection focus which is fairly slow because the way it focuses it is it has to run through being not focused into being focused and then out of focus and then come back and maybe overshoot a little bit until it gets the focus. Okay. Uh, this uses uh, phase detection focus so it runs one way and when it sees the focus it stops. That's why it's faster. That's why DSLRs have always been faster than mirrorless cameras, because ah. mirrorless cameras are using the uh, contrast detect. But this, is, this technology allows you to use phase detect on the sensor, and they use every single pixel on the sensor as a focus element. All 26 megapixels is, is are used, all is, now they're is, used as is, focus elements. Yes. Wow. I mean, uh, that's a little more technical than I can well, understand, but it sounds pretty impressive. It's awesome. And, then, and the great thing about this is it allows you to continuously focus during video. Oh. You can track people and focus. That's one of the things. I remember when DSLRs first put video, and I was so excited, and then I'm like, wait a minute, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah. There's no autofocus. Exactly. Well, with this technology, they have it, and it works better than anything in the industry. I mean, it's Canon's oh, wow. one claim to frame, fame is, is their dual pixel. Okay. Because they still lag a bit behind when it comes to uh, 
certain other things. Uh, usually, usually their dynamic range isn't quite as good as everybody else. They're about to stop off from that, but I'd rather have the dual pixel technology than another stop of dynamic range, personally. But it okay. depends on the kind of shooting you're doing. Uh, and that's, that's the great thing about the live view and, and uh, uh, using the video autofocus. For traditional DSLR, when you're focusing that way, uh, the original 6D had 11 focus points. Okay. One was cross-type. Cross-type is more accurate because it can focus on a horizontal or a vertical line. All right. The new one has 45 points. They're all cross-type. Wow. And the center one will focus at F8. So... F8 is what a pro camera does, so you can take a... Uh, uh, a lens, uh, an F4 lens, and you can slap a, a teleconverter on it, and you still got great focusing. So it sounds to me like so far the biggest benefit is all the focusing on this camera. The focusing is, is, is much better. It's going to be autofocus on video, and mm -hmm. if I'm a bird photographer or something like sports photography, it's going to be much easier to focus. Is it's that? Go, it's going to be much easier. The, the drawback, though, and there's a drawback with this, is it's got 45 points, uh -huh. but they're tightly, they're not spread very well out among, across the frame. Okay. They're pretty tight to the center. All right. So it's not like your 7D Mark II or something like that, where you have a lot of points but they spread out around the frame. So it isn't, it isn't quite a, an action camera, but it's a good all-purpose camera. Okay. You know, it's, it's a nice all-purpose camera, uh, great for landscapes, obviously. Uh, again, when, when, you, you know, when it has this great focus, it'll focus very dark, down to minus 3 EV, which is about as dark as you can get the focus. So it's, and that's, when you say minus 3 EV, that means your meter is going to be on negative 3 if you're trying I mean, to take you're, the picture. You're, you're and you can down. still focus. You can still focus. That's awesome. Uh, they've kicked the frame rate, frames per second up. The old 6D had 4.5, now they're up to 6.5. Six six and, a half. Well, that's and that's not a, bad. Again, that's a 25% increase, yeah. give or take. So that's pretty good. When you are ripping off the photos, you can get 21 raw fires off before your frame buffer fills up. 25 is a lot. I'm sorry, 21. Oh, 21 still, and, still a lot. And of course, <laughs> uh, that's 21 with continuous focus for every single frame. Wow. Okay, sometimes when you, you got to watch when you look at a camera and it gives you a real high frame rate, there's a little asterisk and that means, well, it'll give you the frame rate, but now we're gonna focus for the first shot. You know, this does focus for the whole thing. That's amazing. And that's, it's really nice that way, uh, so it's sweet. Uh, they've done more for video. They kicked the video. The old one was 1080p at 30 frames a second. The new one is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Oh. Sounds good, but a lot of people are complaining about this because the state of the art today is 4K video. Right. And they're still at 1080. So if you're buying this strictly as a video camera, you have to think about whether you need 4K or not. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you're on the cusp. 4, 4K you could do without right now, but of course in the future, it's going to be the standard, so okay. you're going to need it there. The nice thing though is, and this is uh, interesting for a Canon camera, when you're using it in video mode, you have five axis image stabilization in camera. Oh, so wow. you have image stabilization with any lens you throw on the front wow. in the video mode. But not in camera no, mode. No, yeah, in the video okay. mode. Okay. Okay. okay, so why they can't do it for both, I have no idea, but that's, that's what they have. Uh, metering is much better. And they're, you... us they're using the new, more sophisticated metering system that Canon's had out a couple years now. I don't remember exactly when it came out. That uses a uh, little over 7560 pixels for metering. Okay. And it meters RGB and infrared values, so it's, uh, it's, it's a much more sophisticated metering system. Plus, they kicked up the modes. You have five metering modes with it. What are the, do you know what they are? No, no. I'm hand, but You know what, five, though? I do want to point to the audience that we are going to have all this stuff in the show notes written yeah. down. So at understandphotography.com. Go ahead. The big thing, I guess, and it's a real first for Canon full-frame cameras, it has their touch-sensitive, vary angle, swivel, tilt, flip, 
screen on the back. Oh, a flip screen. Yeah. So, <laughs> and of course, Canon's flip screen doesn't just flip up like some of them does. As you know from other Canon cameras, yeah. it flips out, it swivels this way, that way, up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you close it before you put it in your camera bag or you're going to break that screen. Not that I've ever done that yeah. twice. Yeah. <laughs> it, has, it has that. It's a three-inch screen. And it's a touch screen as well. So oh, it's, it's touch screen. It's touch oh, screen. touch screens. So, yeah. I'm, I'm on the fence on touch well, screens because I always, I'm like pointing at a picture and, oh, crap, I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I do. As you know, I, I do a lot of uh, private mentoring. Yeah. And when I'm showing somebody the cameras back and I'm saying here, there, and there. And, and it does I'm something. Change, <laughs> I'm changing stuff that I don't want at the stuff. Uh, so oh. it's, it's, but it is useful in the field. There's no doubt about it. It's nice that you can do that. Uh, and like the uh, 6D, it has built-in GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and near-field communication. So it's I don't got know the, what near-field communication uh, is. That's uh, for syncing with stuff. You put it up close. A lot of cell phones have it now. Oh, I see. And it automatically connects and all. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's, it's got that, too. That's cool. So and the old 6D has that as well? No, the old 6D. I was going to say, I didn't know no, that. No, the old 6D had the, the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the GPS. But this is new. Uh, it's weather and dust resistant, whatever that means. Which uh, most professional cameras which, are. Yeah, well, they, I don't think it's up to the level of ceiling as like the 5D Mark IV or the 7D Mark II, but it's more than their base cameras. Okay. Uh, all this talk has gone out. The camera's not actually out to buy yet. It'll be out. The expected date for release is August 15th. It's supposed to be in the stores. Okay. For 19.99, body only. Okay. Well, that's okay. And then that's about how much. How much I paid like eighteen hundred for my yeah, sixty it, it, many it, years ago. I don't yeah, even know well, when well, I bought my it. Now. Sixty. I, I think it was somewhere around there. So that's typically. And that's then, a great price for a full frame camera. It, it is. It's a nice full frame camera. Uh, it, it's. Oh, the other thing it doesn't have. If you want to talk, it has. It's a single card slot. So professionals. It using still that, has a. It yeah. did not go to the double card. No, no, so I it's still that, single card yeah, slot. So if you're a pro. Uh, you might want to consider because you're taking a gamble if you're not shooting with two cards at the same time. Yeah. Of course, I shot weddings for years. and With I a roll have, of film. I, I, <laughs> I, didn't have a, I didn't have a single camera that took two rolls of film at the same time. So. Oh, I know. I was like thinking I've never yeah. done a wedding yeah. with two. But, yeah. you know, so, I mean, you know but, but that's that's one of these things you have to look at and consider. Of course. Okay. But overall... I think the bang for the buck, it's a great camera. It's certainly an improvement in every single way from the original 6D. Which was a great, is a great camera. 6D was a great work. Now, can you camera. still buy the original 6D? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Typically for Canon, when they come out with a new model, the old model is usually available for six months to a year. I guess it depends on how many, how many they parts have. they have and yeah. how many they have in the pipeline and what have you. So things show up in the catalog. So the price should be going down on the original 6D. I would expect it is. I think it's down around thirteen hundred at the moment. Wow, that's Don't cheap. quote me on that, but okay. I, as memory serves me, it's 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 cheaper than the seven D Mark II. Okay. You know? But you're looking at this one here. This is two thousand. You go to a five D Mark IV. Now you're talking thirty three hundred bucks. Yeah. So yeah. that's a big difference. I mean, what, that, when I looked at my original six D, I wanted a camera for landscapes, and I wanted a camera for my wildlife, so I could buy a seven D and a 60 for the price of the Canon 5D Mark III. Yeah. And this, again, is will be around the same thing when you look at it. Uh, you could get a camera specific for wildlife and birding mm -hmm. and a camera which was great for portraiture and landscape and a little bit of all-purpose. Two cameras for, for the price, price of, of the, that. The, yeah. So it's something to consider if you're looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, is there anything else, or let's summarize? Okay, uh, to summarize, to summarize uh, it's a great improvement after almost five years, as it should be. In five years, it ought to have better everything. They've kicked up the sensor. It has a dual-pixel autofocus. They're giving you better, more focusing points and better focusing points. They're giving you a more advanced metering system. Uh, the video is better because I can't emphasize enough this dual pixel technology okay. that allows, if you're a video guy, it allows you to focus and everything else. That's it's, awesome. it's just fabulous. You can do follow focus on the touch screen. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's cool. The video is cool. So uh, that's, that's nice. The only thing it doesn't have that the spec says it does 
If you look at the specs, a lot of them say it has a built-in flash. Oh. It does not. Yeah, I was going to say my, the my old 60 but, but doesn't. The Canon 6D, if you look on their site, some, of, some places on the site in the comparison, it shows it has a built-in flash. So neither one of them has a flash. If it does, they've hidden it really good <laughs> in this one. <laughs> That's too bad because even though, you know, mostly I shoot with a speed light, but like when I travel, I usually travel with my 60D because it has the built-in flash. And when I'm traveling, I don't yeah. want to carry a speed yeah. light. That's, yeah. that's and, something. And it's nice, and you can use the, the built-in flash, uh, like on the 7D and the 7D Mark II, to trigger the other flashes. Right. You know, you can use if you that need as to, part yeah. if you need to. So it's, so it's handy to have, but it's not there. But uh, the viewfinder does have, uh, I think it's 98% viewfinder, so you're getting the whole, you're seeing the whole picture. Uh, and you need a bigger prism and, mirror and pen of prism or pen of, pen of prism in there, so I guess they just don't have the space. Okay. Although other companies have figured out how to do that. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, there's always something. So know. it comes out when? August 15th is the official release date. If you want to find out more information about the Canon 6D Mark II, we are going to have the show notes on understandphotography.com, and you can check out some of our sponsors. Get up.